Hey everyone, I'm Mike from Jimbu Pal, and today I'm going to tell you about how I was able to automate Chinese hard subtitle conversion into soft digital text on YouTube. Stick around to find out how it can be done. The majority of Chinese video content is subtitled, but most of the subtitles are hard subtitles meaning the Chinese characters are burned into the frame of the video. The opposite of this would be soft or digital subtitles, which are much more useful for studying because they can be copy and pasted from a transcript and they'll be compatible with pop-up dictionaries such as Zhongwen. If you are unfamiliar with anything I just said, you may want to check out my video about must-have tools for studying Chinese on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Now that we've covered the basics, what I'm going to show you in this video is a way to convert hard subtitles to soft subtitles. I should say that this method definitely is not bulletproof and it presents certain challenges which I'll discuss later. This video is more like a case study of my own experiences trying to learn this rather than a how-to for a fully-fledged methodology. So let's get right to it. If you saw my video on the must-have tools for learning Chinese on YouTube, you'll be familiar with the CopyFish Chrome extension. This extension performs optical character recognition or OCR on screenshots you take of Chinese subtitles. You set a defined area where the subtitles appear and you can easily recapture the subtitles from the same area as the video continues to play. However, you have to manually click the button for every subtitle that you want to convert. My goal here was to turn this manual approach into an automated function that can convert the subtitles for the video ahead of time so that you will have a full transcript to review while you watch it later. My thought was that I could also upload the transcript into Link to read along with the video and link words while I watch. I also discussed this in my video for learning Chinese on YouTube, so again, you don't want to miss out on that video. As far as automation goes, there's a cool application I'm going to use called Auto Mouse Click. It's free and works with both Windows and Mac. This application allows you to automate repetitive actions on your computer and set up a list of actions to loop through a specific number of times or for a maximum length of time. These actions are things like clicking, moving the mouse, copy and pasting, and a lot more. For this project, I had my Chrome browser, auto mouse click, and an Excel spreadsheet all open on my screen. I won't go into a ton of detail here, but I determined every action required to convert a subtitle, paste it into Excel, and then start the loop again ready to receive the next output. I had to pause the video temporarily after each conversion because the processing time for the OCR API is longer than the time in between subtitles. I also found that I could record the playback timestamp for each subtitle by right-clicking the video and selecting copy video URL at current time. This is something I also experimented with pasting into my Excel spreadsheet as well. I imagine this could be used in the future to create an actual SRT subtitle file as an output from the automation. The benefits of using an Excel spreadsheet instead of a Word document is that I inevitably had a lot of duplicate subtitles converted if the timing wasn't quite right for the video changing from one subtitle to the next. So after completing my automation, I could easily select all the lines of data and select remove duplicates to correct for this excess data. Here's how it looks when it's running. I must say it's pretty satisfying to watch after you've set this whole thing up. I set this loop to run for a maximum time by multiplying the video runtime by three. This was based on the pausing time in between each subtitle that I had set up earlier. In the future, I'd like to set up a way to share the auto mouse click file with you directly so that you can try this yourself without having to figure out everything on your own but it's a bit tricky to explain how to use the file, so I don't wanna waste the effort if there isn't enough interest out there. 
So if you really want the file to do this yourself, make sure to hit the like button on this video because then I'll try to share the file or a tutorial for using this if the video gets more than 200 likes. Okay, so regarding the challenges I mentioned earlier, the OCR computation you get with this is not perfect and it can be thrown off if the background is too similar in color to the subtitles. Sometimes the output is wrong even if the background has good contrast with the subtitles. Also, YouTube will occasionally place a pop-up ad on the screen exactly where the subtitles appear. This is something you would miss if you walked away while running the automation on a long video. You'd come back to your computer and find that nearly all of the output data was wrong after the ad appeared because these pop-ups don't go away unless you X them out. Also, some videos have ads in the middle, which might throw off your transcription if the ad has subtitles in it as well. But despite these challenges, I think this technique can definitely be helpful for studying, and I'm sure I could improve upon the method for error checking in the future to make it even better. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you like me sharing this type of content. JimbuPal is all about leveraging technology to make language learning easier. So I wanna share methods that I've come up with or have experimented with as I try to accomplish that goal for myself. If you're learning Chinese yourself, please check out our website, jimbupal.com to see how you could go about learning Chinese at lightning speed with the JimbuPal web app. If you enjoyed the video and you wanna keep seeing more like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our blog for tons of other written content about topics just like this. Thanks.